Hello guys, good day to all, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our latest update. This is the uh, weather analysis for this Sunday to Wednesday, June 22 to 25, 2025. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. Let's begin with our update. We still don't have any uh, tropical cyclone development uh, here within the Philippine Air Responsibility. But uh, right now, uh, the usual uh, afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms yeah, are expected for the next uh, five days, up to maybe a week, as the uh, southwest monsoon is starting to reorganize over the West Philippine Sea. So right now, the usual uh, uh, rainstorm is this uh, thunderstorms that is expected to bring uh, moderate to uh, heavy to at times extreme rainfall across various sections of the country last night here in uh, Luzon there are some localized thunderstorms being some heavy downpour that uh, created some flooding in low-lying areas including here in the Bicol region and as we speak right now uh, Sunday afternoon uh, there uh, is another wave of thunderstorms occurring uh, here in our city and uh, so far that's the uh, usual tropical climate that we are experiencing right now we have a low pressure system which is now a higher chance of becoming a tropical cyclone this is LPA 95W very far away from the country outside of PAR north of Guam and this system is expected to move towards the north and uh, north northeast along the southeastern waters of Japan not uh, a threat to our country so uh, for today until uh, uh, Wednesday and Friday we expect these well, isolated thunderstorms during the afternoon or evening the IDCJ is somewhere here over the uh, uh, Micronesian islands and uh, uh, we have a tropical wave here moving towards the uh, eastern portion of South South Philippine Sea okay and here's the uh, fast animation from cyclonicwx.com as you can see uh, we are looking at a uh, development of uh, some thunderstorm activity over uh, portions of uh, uh, Luzon here in Bicol region is now occurring there are some rainfall that you can hear on the background and over summer as well and uh, here's the uh, LPA which is starting to form outside of PAR not a threat to us and if we take a look at the zoom in satellite animation from uh, windy.com this is the uh, zoom in satellite animation as we speak right now here's the uh, thunderstorm that we are looking uh, over this uh, image okay and uh, it's also uh, isolated across uh, Luzon, Visayas, eastern sections and later in the afternoon uh, later in the afternoon or evening we expect to uh, have some thunderstorms as well across Mindanao, rest of Visayas and uh, Palawan and uh, here's the uh, forecast for the next uh, five days until Friday when it comes to the rainfall activity across the country so this afternoon the forecast went well it's now raining outside and you can see here from central southern Luzon Bicol region uh, some are provinces Mindanao parts of the uh, rest of the Visayas and uh, Palawan we could see some afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms to occur today Tomorrow afternoon, we expect again some thunderstorms in various sections of the country. So this is a daily occurrence, as you can see, if we are moving the slider of the days until Friday, it's a daily occurrence, particularly in the afternoon. So don't forget to bring your umbrellas and rain gear. Now for the wind forecast, uh, for the next uh, five days, uh, by uh, uh, Tuesday and uh, Wednesday, 
We could see now the renewed uh, southwesterly wind flow or weak habagat affecting Memoropa and the western sections of Luzon. It's not yet quite strong because we don't have any tropical cyclone activity. There's a low pressure here along the coastal waters of uh, Vietnam that is expected to form this Wednesday. And uh, Thursday to Friday, the uh, southwest, uh, uh, the weak southwest monsoon will begin to uh, move into Taiwan. So it's still calm across the uh, Philippines so far to uh, Friday, except for this uh, afternoon, evening rain showers and thunderstorms. So no tropical cyclone development whatsoever for the next uh, five days here inside the Philippine area of responsibility. Here's the formation alert of uh, JTWC or Joint Typhoon Warning Center for that LPA 95W expected to pass to the east of Iwato, Iwato Island and uh, that's the uh, scenario right now it's far away from any land mass and as for the modern Junior oscillation right now we have a weak wet face if you see this uh, green uh, line this is the forecast until July 5 so if the green color is uh, is very close to the middle it means that the uh, modern oscillation either the uh, wet phase or the dry phase is somewhat weak that's why for the next uh, two weeks until july 5 there might be some light to moderate the wet phase of the modern modern oscillation from the philippines up to the marianas okay that's why if we take a look at the uh, latest uh, global tropics hazards outlook from the uh, climate prediction center of NOAA for the next uh, two to three weeks there might be a tropical cyclone formation more than 40 percent forming between June 25th to July 1st over the North Philippine Sea east of extreme northern zone so we are going to look out on that uh, area and uh, on weekly with this highly uncertain july 2 to july 8 there might still be a uh, more than 20 percent of a tropical cyclone formation along the uh, northern marianas areas along the northern marianas or along the north philippine sea so we will be on the lookout of this uh, possible formation of a tropical cyclone since it might uh, enhance the southwest monsoon but so far because of the uh, uh, weaker uh, wet phase of the modern Julian oscillation it will be more concentrated during the afternoon or evening uh, mostly due to thunderstorms that will be slightly generated by the uh, onset of the southwest monsoon so uh, just take all necessary so just take all necessary precautions against possible flooding and uh, landslides when we have this uh, severe thunderstorms now before we leave you here's the latest uh, wave forecast from windy.com and uh, so far for the next uh, five days until friday there might be some increasing uh, wave heights here over the west philippine sea more than one meter in wave height still suitable for fishing but uh, a little choppy but across the uh, east philippine sea it will remain below uh, one meter as well as over the central waters of the Philippines it will be calm to uh, almost half a meter in wave heights so very suitable for fishing and sea travel during these five days forecast okay so until Friday it will be all right to have some fishing activity if you are located over the eastern and central portions of the uh, Philippine Sea over the uh, West Philippine Sea, it will be, uh, like I said, a little uh, choppy. So uh, just take all the sub precautions. And so far, that's the uh, latest, our English version of our update. And we will return in the next few days. This is Mike Padua saying, stay safe always. Be hashtag with a wiser. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.